Hello, Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. It's on a gold background, so it might reflect a little bit. I'm not 100% sure I like this card. When I made it up, I like the idea of it, but I don't know. I'm going to make another one. Just to show you how I made it. Um... Right, to make this card, I've got a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half. I have a piece of Mossy Meadow already run through the embossing folder, uh, the basket weave one. And this is five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. And I have a piece of for from the ornate dies you can't see it because it's thingy and I've run that through an embossing folder as well the leaf one can you see that just so it wasn't so plain shiny foil and that will sit on there like that the stamps that I'm using are basket of blooms and I'm using the pot the plant pot and jars of flowers and I'm using the sunflowers for the sentiment I've just used clubhouse because I wanted that happy birthday so to get started we need to do some stamping and colouring and cutting out by hand so I've got some scraps here now this will hopefully I'll fit these on. So with my Memento Black Ink I'm stamping up the sunflowers. And I'm going to stamp that just there. quite nice and then I'm going to stamp the pot like that finish with that I'm going to use Versafine ink for my sentiment which I'm going to pop just there and I don't think I've left enough room. We'll see. I've got the label punch here. Oh, might have done. There we have our happy birthday tag. Close that up. Put that away. Right. Now we have to colour these in. And it's a colour I forgot to get out. Um, Cajun Crow's light and dark for the pot. So all I'm doing is, is this light or dark? Light. Just colouring in the pot all the way round. Now with the dark, 
I'm just going to stroke a bit in so under the rim to put on the shadow. Same with this side. And up here. And I take the light again and just go in off the dark bits. Like that. That's my pot done. Now for the flowers. All the um, sunflowers are in Daffodil Delight. This is Daffodil Delight, isn't it? No, I've picked up Melon Mambo. That was all right. What do this flower, Melon Mambo? A lot to colour in on these flowers. Right, let's change to what's this one? Oh, we'll have a dark so saffron. More three of them different colours. And the other one will have Daffodil Delight. I knew to get that somewhere. Right, now the um, centres I'm going to colour in in Crazy on Craze, but I'm only doing like the centre. And then the rest is going to be in Crumb Cake. Oh, that's a marker, bronze Crumb Cake. Right, and then I went over it in around the 
crazy on crazy and made it a bit bigger. Must to use dark crumb cake. I did. I knew I'd had dark crumb cake in there somewhere and then I scribbled all over the whole thing in light crumb cake all right and add a bit of so saffron to give it a bit of a yellow face. Right, with old olive, we're going to do all the leaves. Shoot, please, these. And that thing inside, what did I do that? I did it in clips of coral. little flowers here I did in let me see what colour is this melon mambo yeah found a leaf of mist and then a bit of highland heather on this thing. And that's all I did. I just drew over the lines, give it the shape of one of them flowers, I don't know what they're called. And I'm going to colour this in a pale pink, I think. Don't know what did the other one in? Oh, melon mambo. Right, got rid of all them. That's our colouring done. Now we've got to cut it all out, which for the pot doesn't take long. a little white border all the way around 
there's our pot now uh, same as our flower trying to leave a little white border all the way around not particularly bothered if I don't manage it you remember keep your scissors still and just move your card and you should be alright cutting this out I still move my scissors Concentrating on what I'm doing, not talking. <laughs> Hope you're all doing well. Now, we're in lockdown again. My sister in Ireland's in complete lockdown. Both my grandsons are having to isolate themselves. Um, the youngest grandson, well, he's 14 now, he was 14 yesterday. Um, he got sent home from school because someone in his class bubble had contracted corona. So as a precaution, they sent the whole bubble home. And they all have to isolate for 14 days, which works out the kids get three weeks off school because of half term at the end of it. And then my grandson in Manchester, who's at university there, he, someone in his class have been diagnosed and now he has to isolate which he's not too happy about there we are all done So now we can stick, oh, that glare's doing my eyes in, stick this down. Now, with embossed um, card, as you know, I always try and get glue on the raised bits. They're the bits that are going to stick to your card. Right. Stick that on there.
and then we're going to stick this ornate die down and I'm also going to put some in the corners and on I don't know what they're called little bits that stick out should do that. Now we're going to put this in the middle of our to glue on. And then we stick this on here, like that, with dimensionals. Right, I am running out of dimensionals. I've got a new packet. But we're going to use all these scraps up first. Right, I don't want none at the bottom here because that is going to sit just over the top of the pot so First of all, we're going to put the pot down. And we're going to place that about there. At the bottom. There. And then we'll put our flowers on. quite nice and then we're going to put some mini dimensionals on this but we only want oh make sure I get the right side I think it's two yeah Take the backs off of these and place some glue on that end. And we're just going to sit that there. And there is our car. 
hope you like it if you do give us a thumbs up if you like to see more of my cars please subscribe if you um, press the bell icon you'll be notified of any more videos I upload which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday all I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon